On Friday, January 19, 2024, at the Regional Services Boardroom, a graduation ceremony was held for the graduates of the Voluntary Council Program. The program was executed by the Region 6 Health Authority through the Ministry of Health. Present at the ceremony were Regional Health Officer Dr. Rashalia Sharma, Head of the National AIDS Program Dr. Tariq, SCI Coordinator Dr. Chin, Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan, and former Minister of Health, current advisor to the Ministry of Health, Dr. Leslie Ramsamy, among other attendees. A few graduates expressed not only their appreciation, but also their goals as future voluntary council testers. One of the key points is that I learned is always give a listening ears out here. When I sit with patient, I realize something, there is so much out there that people have inside of them, but all they need is someone to listen to them. For me, it was a whole new thing because I was not in the medical field. And in class, it was very much um, good for me. And until when I do my preceptorship, where I encounter one of my clients who started to crack. And that was the moment for me to give that client the opportunity to be strong. Dr. Vishalia Sharma expressed her gratitude to the RDC for funding the program. Is that it's important that we provide all services or Packet a service, sorry, a service delivery in line with the mandate of the Ministry of Health. And in order to do that, training is essential. So today is just one aspect of that training. Today is just one part of that, so that we can be able to expand services more at the primary health care level. If you would recall, for the past year, for example, we would have to date added pharmacy assistance to the health centers. We would have expanded dental care to at least to five, sorry, to six health centers in the region. We now offer VIA at 14 sites in region six. We do home-based care on a more increase, an increased number of home visits in the region. So it's really, really important that we understand the critical role of everybody in delivering healthcare services. Dr. Leslie Ramsamy conveyed his hope that through this program, Guyana can reach its goal of 90% of people knowing their HIV status by 2030. This region has always been in the forefront of Guyana's glory and Guyana's development. And so let me just take a minute because I know Dr. Vishalia, Dr. Bob, Dr. Sukhdev, all the workers, Dr. Tapin and everybody, the public health nurses that are sitting downstairs doing a fantastic job. The support of regional chairman and the RDC to bring health to every corner of our region in Barakara, in, in, in uh, Siparuta, in Oriala, everywhere bringing health to our region. We in the health sector can't leave anyone behind, or for that matter, education or any of the development program. We have to take it to the people, because the people we save, the people we empower to live long, productive lives, can make a difference in their community, can make a difference in their country, and can make a difference in the world. Out of 26 students, 25 passed, and due to the success of this program, HIV and STD testing can be even more readily available to the public. Mazami Paul, Channel 8 News.